The defense I'm about to show you is the easiest way to play defense right now, and it's arguably the best way to play defense right now, and it's not DB Fire 2. We're going to be showing you a different type of defense that I do think is much, much better for the way Madden 24 is being played. If you think about the way the game is being played this year, it really comes down to getting consistent stops in the red zones. So we're going to give you two different philosophies here. Same same basic defense, um, but done out of two different formations based off of two completely different situations. So uh, if you guys want to get either one of these full ebooks on the defenses that I'm going to show you, they're both in the Patreon. We've got a ton of really good stuff, and I actually feel fairly decent on the defensive side of the ball right now. Um, just in terms of the ability to consistently get stops, at least in the red zone. Um, so for what it's worth, um, I do think there is defense in the game. It's just really not easy. And to be honest, you kind of got to be patient. All right. With that in mind, we are in the Chiefs playbook, which I believe is probably the best playbook right now in Madden 24. Either the Chiefs playbook, the Patriots playbook, or of course, the tried and true 46 defensive playbook would be what I would recommend. And what we're going to do is we are going to put the DB Fire 2 in our audibles. And then we're going to be coming out in the Cover 4 Drop. Um, I think Cover 4 Drop or Cover 3 Cloud. We'll get it to Cover 3 Cloud maybe in a different video. But I want to explain what is so good about Cover 4 and why it is uh, a really good defense. So um, what we're going to do is we're going to pinch our defense. We're going to crash our line down. Now, this is the most important part of the entire defense. So don't miss this step. Bring these safeties down to about 10 yards off the ball. That's the key. And then you want to blitz your user and you want to stand right here. So if you take a look here, you're going to see that I have this little icon over the top of my head. It's got two green bars and then that red little light. If I back up, it's going to go away. I need that to be activated because what that does is it signals that I am engaging with the offensive line. So when the ball snapped, it's going to allow me to get better sheds. Okay. But by bringing these inside quarters down into the box, they're going to do a really good job against crossers, post routes, even slant routes. These things will, will do a pretty good job against that. Um, and then my recommendation will be to shade your coverage underneath. The reason I want to shade my coverage underneath is because I want my hard flats to play the hard flat. Okay, It's going to help against RPOs. It's going to help against uh, drags, little underneath stuff. And then you have the hook curl that's going to be shaded down that will also be very effective. So let's talk about how this plays some, some of the main routes in the game. Uh, one of the main routes in the game is this vertical crossing route, which I'm going to just put my user in a spy, but I want you to watch this inside quarters. So these inside quarters, they might throw it like right there. Watch that right there. See how he lurks back and he gets onto the route? That is because we moved him into the box. That is 100% because we moved him in the box. If I leave him backed off, and we'll show you that real quick, If I just if that's the only thing, if I just leave him backed up like that, I can throw this and I can cut it off before that safety can get to the ball. So that's a really, really big tip that a lot of people just don't do. Bring your safeties in the box if you're in dollar or any formation where they are 10 yards or more off of the ball. Another reason why cover four is a really good defense is because when you try to flood the wide side, you're never going to get these corner routes open to the wide side of the field. It's always going to be defended. So they have to, when they flood, when they run flood concepts, they have to flood to the short side. So let me give you uh, an example of what that might look like. So truly the best flood concept in the game is really probably this right here. But the beauty of cover four is if you shade outside and underneath, now what that does is it takes those quarter zones and they are going to be playing with outside leverage. So let's say you run a streak corner and flat, a lot of times this outside quarter can actually bail back to the corner route, as you saw right there. However, it is a safe enough adjustment that they can't really bomb you. Let me give you an example. A lot of people, when they start to see you're able to defend their corner routes, they're going to go to uh, essentially route combos that are going to do a good job against cover two. So deep fade routes to the sideline, wheel routes, all of that kind of stuff. Take a look here. You see that quarter is going to play that every single time. They can't throw that kind of stuff. So what can you throw against a cover for coverage? Really not a lot in this game. If you have deep end zone KO on your safeties and you are shading outside and underneath, that is so important because the shade underneath is going to make those deep zones react a little bit better 
to underneath breaking routes. But I'll give you a combo that they might go to. Maybe something like this is a pretty good combo. Um, but watch that shaded down hook curl snap back on that. Um, see how that shaded down hook curl kind of snap back on that check down read. So that's going to be taken away. They have the shaded down. So your hard flats are doing a really good job. The hard flats are going to do a good job against running back table routes, drag routes, uh, all that kind of stuff, you know. And so you, you see what I'm saying? Like, there's just not a lot there uh, at the end of the day, okay? And, you know, they want to run a route combo like this. Yes, the running back might be there for you, um, as you'll see there. But look at what my user, my user could certainly help uh, on that crossing route over the top. And that's really what you're going to be doing with your users. You're looking for the deep crossers or the deep, uh, really the main route you're looking for, honestly. And I think the best route against cover four in this game would be something like this where they do a little motion in. And then what they do is they, they clear out the inside quarter through the use of this streak. Uh, so then if you take a look at me defensively, what I'm going to do is my lurk here. I'm going to take this and I'm going to go back here. And then I can release that late because of the outside quarter, right? Because I shaded outside underneath. So this allows you to kind of defend if you, if you just make a little box here. This is kind of the box of the defense you're going to be defending. You are going to be playing from hash mark to hash mark really in this tr in this little uh, this little spot right here. This is going to do a good job against a lot of different formations, and it's just going to make them have to work. There's not a lot. Cover four this year doesn't give up a lot of big, big plays, especially because there's no velocity kim in the game yet, and you can actually put deep out zone knockout on your outside corners, and that will make this defense significantly better. I have deep end zone KO on both of the safeties, and then I have deep out zone KO typically on the, sh on the corner that I want to be on the short side so that if they ever do run a, a flood concept, then I'm going to be able to get over there. The, probably the best flood would be something like this. If you watch this tight end, he'll run. But again, I mean, you just see the quarters. So cover four drop, shade underneath, really effective for kind of a base defense. And then the only thing else I wanted to just point out is I think one of the better red zone defenses is 4-3 even, 6-1. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our crow flats on zero. And essentially, we're just going to run this cover four quarters. And I'll get into some under center stuff here with you just to kind of explain how this stops the run. But essentially, all we're going to do is we're going to pinch our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then we're going to we're going to press and you can either shade down or you can shade up, and that's really over up to you. Uh, but I like to put, because we're in the red zone, right, I like to put two hook curls. And then you can, if you want to, crash your D-line out. You can blitz your you can blitz your linebackers off the edge. Um, but this does a really good job at allowing you to shoot the run and take the run away from people inside of the five. And so they have to throw the ball. And cover four quarters is one of the best ways – um, to stop a lot of the passing in the red zone. Uh, another thing real quick that I would recommend would be to show blitz because it's going to bring these safeties into the box. So now, again, if they try to throw the ball, you have the quarters. You see how that – see how it really collapses the pocket well? Probably the best red zone defense in the game is 4-3 even 6-1. It's why uh, the Chiefs playbook is such an important playbook to have. And then maybe even doing some contain logic on the outside – is, is going to be helpful as well for setting, setting the edge. So these are two defenses that are very similar in terms of the actual shell that you're running, but you can use them situationally and together to stop a lot of what the best players in the world are doing. If you want to learn how to run both of these defenses, I have full ebooks on both of them in the Patreon. It's only $10 to become a member, and it'll get you access to all of my offensive and defensive ebooks. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.